Okay, good morning and welcome smart listeners. We are coming to you for a totally different episode today uh, because usually we are just audio. You are going to be just audio, but I welcome you. I invite you to go over to YouTube because we're also going to be airing this on YouTube. We've got a special guest, Mr. Ed Rush. Now, I invite you to go take a peek at his past episode with us uh, as well as the film from our live QLS event here in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, I'm going to have Ed introduce himself in a minute, but um, fighter pilot, ex-fighter pilot, um, flown many missions, um, more, <laughs> more so than anyone else I know. Uh, secondly, author of five plus books. Maybe he has more now. He might have, he might have written more since we've talked. Uh, Ed, welcome to the show again, buddy. Chris Prefontaine, what's up, man? Hey, really good to be on the show with you another time. Uh, it's been awesome, actually, since the last time you and I recorded. Uh, I've spoken at your event. You've spoken at my event. Uh, we started working together in in little co coaching, consulting, and we're we're planning some world domination right now. I guess in the real estate market around the idea of persuasion. So it's really good to be on your show. I'm on my way back to Rhode Island here in uh, a couple months, and I'm looking forward to being back on the ground, man. I love it where you live, uh, and it's a nice diversion from you know the 72 degree beautiful weather that we get all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to give, so, so the main reason that I wanted you on, because your stuff is so awesome, I wanted them to get kind of a taste for it, right? I mean, let, and let me preface it with this. So Ed came and spoke, as he said, at one of our events and talked about persuasion and, and the whole audience is on the edge of the cheers and just spellbound, literally, I mean that literally, I looked around the room because his stuff is so powerful and, and you can use it like when you leave or when you leave this, this video even, you can go use some of his stuff. It's pretty cool. So we're going to take that uh, at the Business Scaling Secrets event because it's so appropriate. And we're going to teach live, work live with uh, our team, Nick and Zach, but also some of our students working within the real estate scripts and then being super, super uh, effective at persuasion within that realm. So I don't know if you want to comment on that before we give them some examples. Yeah, I mean, when I talk to people about doing deals, making money, uh, getting people to pay you or getting people to say yes, which really encompasses everything that we do in business, it doesn't matter whether you sell a product online, whether you're standing up on stage, whether you're doing a real estate deal, need a knee right across from somebody. Uh, really, it comes down to three things. And it always comes down to three things. And uh, the third thing is the one that we're going to focus on. I'll just hit the other two real quick. I mean, the first thing you have to do, uh, so I do deals now that are in excess of uh, six figures. So hundreds of thousands of dollars that I sit down and negotiate with people. Uh, and really what I'm selling, Chris, are just my ideas. You know I mean? They're, I help people in their businesses and in, in their life to achieve the impossible. Uh, and I've gotten paid a lot of money to do that. And so the first thing uh, when you're standing across from somebody is you have to own it. You have to be really ready to quote whatever your fee is or to close whatever your deal is. That's the first thing. Uh, and that usually is a process that takes people three to five years that I can typically help people with in about three to five minutes. The second thing uh, is you have to be talking to the right person. And that's actually really important. So I just mentioned uh, six-figure deals. Well, if you're going to be doing six-figure deals, you better be talking to somebody who can pay you that amount of money. If you're going to be doing a real estate deal, you need to be talking to somebody who's qualified. So those first two things are kind of given. You got to own it. The second thing is you have to be talking to the right person. But the third thing is one that we overlook a lot, which is you have to be speaking in such a way that it communicates directly to that person's subconscious mind and gets them to take action. Now, uh, you may have listened to sales trainers. You may have listened to people uh, teach on persuasion or NLP. A lot of that stuff, frankly, you can just throw out the window because it might have worked in 1980, uh, but it doesn't work now. Uh, today's world is very relational. Uh, people are ready to talk to a real person, to get to know a real person, uh, and to communicate. And so I've developed an effective way of communicating uh, to help people understand how to communicate in a way that's fun, uh, that's engaging, uh, that builds great relationships, the kind of thing that, you know, for example, Chris, you and I, uh, not only uh, did you speak at my event, spoke at my event, we're doing business deals together, but we're continuously trying to find new ways to bring each other into each, our own businesses. We're talking about that again uh, uh, you coming to my event, my next event, I'm coming to your next event, the September event uh, that you have QLS every year that I'm coming to. And so we've developed a, a business relationship, but we've also developed a great friendship in the context of a business relationship. And when you use persuasion, when you communicate, when you influence the right way, not only do you get great business deals, but just actually grow great friendships uh, as well. And yeah, so I've developed a way of doing this. It's very seamless, very ethical. Uh, it's a way that's incredibly transparent. It works in today's marketplace. 
Uh, and Chris, you and I have decided we're going to start to do this together uh, with your team, incredibly capable team, by the way, Nick and Zach and the rest of the Prefontaine family that runs the business. Uh, they're executing the things that I teach. And so we're going to take it to the stage and we're going to be showing your investors really a new uh, way to communicate effectively uh, so that you can get more yeses and you can get more of the right people in your business. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And I want to say something that we can give them some, uh, some kind of some takeaways if you want. So just, I want them to be thinking about the business scaling event obviously is a no brainer because people say, well, what if I'm brand new and I, I, I don't have to, I can't scale yet. No, it's getting started so you can scale. So you have a life and not a job. And then within that context, what if they could take your stuff, right? Your teachings. And even if they got one extra freaking deal for the whole year, uh, you may remember our paydays right now average around 75 grand. Students as high as 110, students as low as 45, but we're around 75 grand. One extra deal for 75 grand, that's not a bad, bad thing to add to your business this year or next. Yeah, I mean, and it comes down to the foundation. Like you just said, you know, people are thinking about scaling their business. The best time to do it is right now, uh, to build an actual foundation for your business. But that has to do with your deals too. How you start your communication will affect everything about the deal. I mean, you might come across somebody that, that, that you don't just do one deal with. You could do two or three or four or five or 10 if you're talking to the right person. Uh, and so just think about that for a second. What if you had one more deal? That's it. Uh, and what if it wasn't even 75,000? What if it was just, imagine like 37,000, really? half of that, 375. What if it was just half of the average deal that Chris just, uh, just, just named there? Would you be willing to fly in to spend a few days, a little bit of training, take some notes so that you can go off and implement some things that would get you a half a deal? I mean, it would be totally worth it. I'd fly to Rhode Island for 37,500 bucks, man. <laughs> I just thought of something and Lauren's probably going to kill me, but what I'll do is I'll put, when we're done this, I will put in the show notes for the podcast and for YouTube, I'll put in the notes in addition to your links and some of the things you're going to mention for them to get their hands on. I'm going to put a, um, the price is 497 for this event. I'm going to put a $200 off. I'm going to put it down to $297. Oh, wow. I, Cause I want people in the, I want them in the room and I, I want them in front of you. Yeah, that I mean that makes it a. By the way, four ninety seven is a good deal. Yeah, I I agree. <laughs> you could charge Chris. You could charge two thousand dollars for this event, and it would be worth it. You could charge even more, but five hundred. By the way, is a slam dunk deal. If you're listening to the podcast, if you're watching this video, scroll down to the link. I'm not sure where the link's going to be in the podcast, but uh, scroll down on the YouTube page and hit that link and come to the event. It's going to be a blast. By the way, um, and the community that's built there, Chris. This was the reason why. I got so interested in your business. I, I don't bring people in to speak at my events. If you've ever been to my event before, uh, it's usually me teaching for three days. Every once in a while, I'll have one of my coaching members or students come up and share a story. I don't bring in outside speakers that, that you know, offer products or anything like that. But when I went to your event uh, and I looked at the community that you built in such a short period of time uh, and the people that just like come to these events because they like to connect back with each other, uh, it's incredible. It's a family that you're coming to. So this isn't one of those events where you'll see these real estate events where there's like speaker after speaker after speaker who sell another product, another product, another product. That's not like this at all. In fact, um, it's quite the opposite. If you want to invest in something, you got to like go figure it out for yourself sometimes. <laughs> frankly. Yeah, we actually at this event, we to your point, we, there's nothing yeah. we're, we're selling. We're, yeah. This is skill sets. This is scaling. This is how to be an entrepreneur. This is hearing from Stephen Westner, who who understands scaling and building and the struggle. Yeah. So it's gonna be really cool. Ed, can you um, maybe give? Uh, you could give a lot of examples, but can you give a takeaway for them, like an example that they may be able to use? And I'm talking could be simple, basic, personal, or business. Yeah. I know you did a bunch of that. Let me start with some of the basics. I mean, you know, when I teach persuasion, I start with the very foundation, which is what the most important thing, and then I build it up to. I have three levels that I teach, by the way. The first level is what I call basic training. I'm a military guy, so just roll with me on that. The second level is what I call weapons training, which is kind of the, the next level, sort of more advanced stuff. And then the last top level is what I call Jedi Master. And by the time you hit Jedi Master with me, uh, you, are, you have to promise me, look me in the eye and promise me that you'll use the strategies for good. But let me take you down to the basic uh, uh, level and just give you some ideas on how to, uh, how to communicate very effectively. And I'm going to uh, write on my whiteboard. So if you're listening to the podcast audio, it's great. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be writing. But if you're watching, uh, if you're listening on the podcast, you want to see what I'm writing. Uh, you're welcome to go over to YouTube. There's a video on here that shows what I'm doing. Uh, and I want to just start with a, with a way um, 
that uh, screenwriters communicate or the way that storytellers, great storytellers communicate. Uh, and this wasn't invented by Joseph Campbell. It was certainly codified by a guy named Joseph Campbell. There's a, uh, there's a, a journey, uh, it's called the hero's journey. Uh, and when you watch a great movie, uh, you see that every great movie has a hero. Uh, and every great movie has a hero that has a challenge. And so first thing, um, when you start a, a story, uh, you start with a hero. So for example, if you watch Star Wars, the real good movies in Star Wars, like Star Wars Episode Four, where there's Luke Skywalker, who's sitting on this deserted planet. He shows up there, and you know that the hero uh, has something. It's a call. It's a call to adventure. Uh, the hero's standing there. You remember Luke Skywalker's looking out into the horizon, and he's like, I know that there's something more. And always, in this exact moment in any great story, uh, the enemy shows up. I'm going to tell you in a minute what this all has to do uh, with marketing. But the enemy shows up. Just about the same time the enemy shows up, there's another person that shows up, and this is a very important person. This person is called a guide. Uh, in the story of Star Wars, that person was Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? He's like, Ben Kenobi, I haven't heard that name in a really long time. And I could go by movie after movie after movie. In The Matrix, Neo's the hero and Morpheus is the guide. In, in The Hunger Games, right? Katniss Everdeen is the hero and that drunk guy, Hamish, is the guide. Every single great story has one of these. Right after the guide shows up, uh, the story begins to work itself to the point at which everyone is about to lose and die. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, at the end, they win. Okay, and there's victory. Now, here's the interesting thing about your prospect, and it could be for a real estate deal, you could sell products, services, uh, consulting, I don't care what it is, I've helped over 400 one-on-one -on -one people who paid me a lot of money to work in their business. Dude, I've worked with pest control, franchises, I've worked with Hollywood celebrities, the story is the same. When you come into this story, most marketers are under the impression that they are the hero. And so when you listen to people talk about their product or service or investing or their deal that they wanna do or their house, they almost always begin by talking about themselves like they're some kind of great big hero. So you'll hear businesses go, you know, we've been in business for 30 years. We can be trusted. And that's hero, hero, hero. Nobody wants to hear a story about someone else becoming a hero. Everyone wakes up in the morning trying to be the hero in their own story. The most important thing for you to remember that as a marketer, you're the guide to someone else's hero story, which means it's always, 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 hopefully that was Enough always is, it's always, always, always about them. If you begin your marketing by only thinking about the person that you're talking to, you will be successful almost every single time. That's why the word that I keep using on this podcast, that if you went back and counted, you'd probably find that I'm over 100 at this point in using this word is the word you. I'm not saying we, I'm not saying us, I'm not even saying them, I'm not saying you plural, I'm saying you singular. When I talk to somebody, I'm speaking to you, you individual, you. When you talk to your prospect, you need to be talking about them. Now, when you come in April, we're gonna talk about how to create language structures so that you begin to say the things that the people want. So for example, my goal is really simple. I wanna be talking to people about the topic that they thought about when they woke up in the morning. Listen, nobody wakes up in the morning and thinks, gosh, I need to get a um, rack and pinion steering. They think about the car that they're gonna buy. Nobody wakes up in the morning thinking about a, a discount on airfare. They think about the beautiful island that, that they're gonna take a vacation on and sit there while having a Mai Tai, okay? So picture what people are thinking about and then enter the conversation that's happening in the prospect's mind. Now, for a real estate investor, this is actually quite easy. Most people are thinking about the frustrations that they're having financially and they're trying to create some sort of financial freedom. That's a very important phrase that you can use, by the way. They're trying to create some sort of financial freedom, okay? And if you're on that side, you can help them create that. If you're on the other side, sometimes people are just looking for a great place for their family to just settle in, to be able to enjoy the ownership of their own home, and to be able to rest in the fact that they're now a homeowner. Either side, you wanna be talking directly to the benefits that the person has in their mind and you wanna be talking to them. And so anyway, Chris, this is like maybe one of 20 things that I'm gonna be kind of unpacking uh, when we work together. But one of the most important things, like I said, is you're gonna wake up in the morning thinking about your business, but they're thinking, we're waking up in the morning thinking about their life. And so if you can communicate as much as you can directly to them, them, 
by saying you, 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 you will be uh, winning every single time. There's just one example. Yeah, and I think it's cool because I always tell them, and I think I talked about this at your event, that if we get away from what we're saying, get into what the heck they're trying to get out of this, it's, it is about them. We're just solving problems. So if you think about that, it's going to be really cool to have them put some of this practicality into place. I, I want to say this too, as you were talking, I thought of this. I don't, we don't uh, expose our, our community either to just anyone, as you know, because yeah. what, what do we do? We, I spend good money to belong to your mastermind. Yeah. And we spend great money to send Nick and Zach to do one-on-ones. So then we say, great, that's going well. Let's now put this person in front of our, our, our students in our community. That's the only time we do it. So it's very important for them to hear that from both of us. Yeah, it's super, super important. Yeah, and you mentioned Stephen. I mean, you're bringing in people who are really, really good. I mean, he spoke at your last event. Chris, I don't bear, like when I go speak at people's events, I don't usually listen to the other speakers. I'm normally like upstairs in my hotel working or I'm in the back working. But when Steven started to speak, man, I was on and riveted. He's very, very good. And you're going to hear some things that you really need to know about how to foundationally set up your business. Look, if you're busy right now, if you're frustrated because your inbox is full, but you don't feel like the cash flow is coming in, there's a reason for that. It's the way that you've created your business. And there's some secrets on how to really streamline that to get a whole bunch of other people to do, do the work for you so that you can relax a little bit, have a little bit more peace and make the kind of money that you want to. So you definitely need to be there. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Hang out with uh, Ed, who we hang out with. Hang out with Steve, who I happen to be accountability partner with every Monday morning. So we're just getting you in front of the same peeps that we're in front of every single day. So um, I know we both mentioned it. Uh, go ahead and go down to the show notes if you're on the podcast. If you're in YouTube, just go right down below here and you can scroll through. Ed, can you give these guys a couple ways to get you? There's no reason to wait till April. Um, how can they get hold of you? What's the best ways? And you got some phenomenal books. Yeah, I mean, the fastest way, by the way, the website, and I'll write this again on the board. If, yeah. you, um, if, you're, if you're listening, it's fine. Uh, you can remember this because it's like the easiest website on planet Earth to remember. Um, it's just edrushbook.com. Uh, that's edrushbook.com. I don't have a copy of it sitting right here, I don't think. But uh, I wrote a book called 21 Day Miracle, which was by far my most popular book. Um, I sold tens of thousands of copies of that thing. It was number one, Amazon's number one business book um, of all business books, like Seth Godin beating that book, his books, uh, Tim Ferriss. Uh, so it's a very, very popular book. And a lot of fun. Moves really, really fast. And Chris, we gave up away copies actually to everyone at your event last time. So that was a really good, um, really good time. But that's the fastest way to go. When you get there, there is a totally free um, series of training videos and a membership site that I set up. So the 21 Day Miracle is based on the principle that uh, speed wins every single time and that the most successful people in the world build their lives around strategic sprints. So if you want to be successful, uh, it's not about like slow and steady wins the race. It's about finding one thing, sprinting to accomplish it, finding another thing, sprinting to accomplishment. Uh, and in the book, I unpack 10 different 21 day sprints. One's around mindset, one's around money. So if you've been struggling with money, it gives you some secrets on that. Uh, one is about happiness. Another one's on fitness and relationships. Another one's on addiction. Uh, there's, so there's a whole bunch of different things that you can tackle in a short period of time. Uh, and it did, if you read on Kindle, the book's like 99 cents. If you yeah. read a paperback, it's still like, it's even, it's still very inexpensive, eight or $9. I don't, look, I don't make money on books. It's not my goal. I want to share a message. And so that's the fastest way uh, just to get a hold of me, which is edrushbook.com. You'll get a book, you'll get a whole bunch of free stuff. Uh, you'll get onto my email list. So I'd be able to uh, give you some great information every once in a while. I don't send out a lot of promotional things. I send out great information that you can digest in chunks. And so that would be the fastest way to do it. Uh, and the second thing is you need to get your butt to the uh, next event. And by the way, if you're listening to this podcast and it's after the event that we were talking about, um, there's always an event every, every six months roughly in, this, uh, in, in um, Chris's world in smart real estate. So, uh, so hit the website, go to the events tab, sign up for the next event. Look, um, a lot of people nowadays for some reason aren't coming to live events. I think there's just so much information on YouTube and podcasts that people feel a lot of times like they got everything that they need. There's nothing like being there live. First of all, you're intense in the environment. And I'm telling you, there's million dollar ideas that flow through event rooms all the time just because you've taken the time to be away from your business, to work on your business, not in your business. So just getting there is important. The second thing I'll tell you is the act of actually going to the event the moment you walk out of your office and get on the airplane, get in the car or the train or however you get there, 
uh, you put your mind in a new gear where you're now thinking about new ideas. And there's something, look, there's events that I go to that it would be worth it for me to get on the airplane, go to the event, and then just fly home. Because the whole flight, I'm like thinking about my business. There's something that happens to your mind there. I agree. Last thing, this is the other most important thing. There's people there. Look, there's deals that happen together at these events all the time, okay? So if you feel like you're frustrated, you're alone, trying to make money, trying to make the best out of your time, there's resources at event, events like this. There's people who you can end up doing deals with. Like I know people who are like, one person really likes doing the deal and another person really likes doing all the behind the scenes stuff on the deal and they come together and they do the things that each of them likes and they grow a business like that. So there's people like that that you may end up finding accountability partners or people that you can just get to know share ideas with, look, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to come to an event like this. So, you know, sometimes you just need to get out of your environment uh, and get off your computer and get there with some notes. Yeah. It's going to be a blast anyway. So, and I thought of two other things, but you, you made me think of it. One is I said earlier, yeah, we, we spend good money to be in your mastermind and to hang out with you, but just so these guys can put a number to that, can you give them an idea of what those rates look like? I thought that they're probably thinking, okay, what's you know, good money? They're, get, they're gonna spend a whopping two ninety seven with the special discount yeah. for you yeah. and I. I mean, how much usually? Yeah, I mean, my coaching starts at a basic level. This is group coaching level at eighteen thousand, goes all the way up to seventy uh, seventy plus. Okay, and so and Chris, you paid more than eighteen. I'll just tell you that it's in the it's in the twenties. I think if I'm correct, um, yeah. at the work that I've done, and we just did another deal, so that would probably put it into the thirties. Um, and so you're talking, you're listening to a guy who practices what he preaches. Look, um, he doesn't ask for free stuff. He could from a lot of people, by the way, um, he invests wisely in the people that he works with. And so in, in comparison to what you've invested with me, the 297 price is about <laughs> a t one tenth or something. I don't know. Yeah, a little ridiculous. So one tenth. it's 10, it's 1%. It's a yeah. percent of what you've invested just with me, by the way, not with everybody else. So uh, so it's, it's look, look, it's, it's the price shouldn't be an issue. It's, yeah. it's no brainer. The event, we just made it a, no, we just made it a non-issue. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Ed, thanks for taking some time today. I know you got enough things on your plate and, uh, yeah. for these guys to be able to come and, and hang out with you is going to be really, really cool. Uh, so again, go to the show notes. If you're not there and you're listening to the podcast while you're driving or jump over to YouTube and all the links will be there for Ed, as well as the event. Uh, Ed, thanks again, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Chris, it's an honor to be on, man. I'm looking forward to coming back to Newport twice this year, actually. Uh, try to get that jet blue, um, lie flat seat thing that they've got, uh, <laughs> across the country. So I'll talk yeah, to you. Make it a productive day, buddy. All right. See you, buddy.